More than 200 students at a Southern Colorado elementary school did not attend class today because of this email. The Pueblo City School District says it went out to students at Sunset Park Elementary and it included emojis of bombs, guns, and knives. Carradio News Channel 13's Michelle San Miguel live outside that school. And Michelle, those symbols were enough to convince a lot of parents to keep their kids home today. The school district spoke with that student who sent out that email and determined there was no threat. But administrators say in this day and age, you cannot take it lightly, even an email with emojis. It may look harmless, an email with dozens of emojis, cows, sheep, smiley faces. But many parents find these images of guns, knives and bombs disturbing. I was shocked at first. Last night, a third grader at Fountain International Magnet School sent students at Sunset Park Elementary School this email with nearly 50 emojis. The emojis that were displayed on the email seemed to be extremely random uh, and uh, in a non-threatening manner, uh, but because of the way it was delivered, we wanted to make sure that we did the thorough investigation. After receiving an automated message from the school about the email, Jessica Mascarinas wasn't sure if she wanted to bring her two daughters to school. So I asked my girls, do you want to go? And they were just like, yeah. So. They went in and being that I live close by, I would drive by every now and then just to see what was going on. I've seen a lot of parents taking their kids out. The district says parents should talk with their kids about what they post online. In the meantime, the district is working to make sure a student cannot access the listserv like that again. We're looking into tightening up those group policies and, and making some restrictions uh, internally that, that will prevent this from happening again. Even so, parents say they're mindful of their children's safety. You can't take stuff like this lightly. Reporting live in Pueblo, Michelle San Miguel, KRDO, News Channel 13. All right, thank you so much, Michelle. The Albert